I'll show you how to add tabs in both the 2D area and the 3D area. So let me go ahead and make a part out of this first. And first we'll do it in the 2D area. So I'm going to turn off the Create Toolpath box for right now. And so on the uh, Contour button, get uh, this box here. And you can define your different lead types. So for example, I've got a uh, lead type defined as Tab. And if I click on the little edit button here, I've got things like length of lead in, angle of lead in, and then the key thing for the tab is this overcut number. And a negative number here means it's going to stop short, and it gives you an idea here how much of a tab you would be leaving based on the uh, current nozzle orifice. So here we're showing about a 56 thou tab, which would be that, um, that yellow line there. So of course, if it's, that's going to be too big, you can drop that down and... 40 thou, whatever, as you change that, then that'll update accordingly. And then uh, we've got that tab there. So if I do the multi command right now and I select my part, now because I've got the corner tab turned on, it's going to put a tab on the corner. And if I go back into contour, um, so it was using the corner tab to put that on there. So I could have a separate lead for corners called corner with tab or I could just use the single command and if I move away from the corner and I left click then it's going to use that other external lead with the tab that I had just made there. Uh, if I did want the lead on the corner with the tab again down here in the corner I could make a new lead and call it corner with tab and in this case here again we would not want any lead out because that'll defeat the purpose of the tab and then again a negative number here and again it'll show us what our tab width is there and again you can adjust that to the appropriate width and then you can also save favorites if I click on the favorites button I can click on save and I could call this tabs or something and then that way you can easily switch back and forth between different lead types. So if I was doing bigger parts and I didn't care about tabs, I could just set, for example, the external to my outside one and put this back to my regular corner one with no tabs. Go to Favorites, Save, and No Tabs. So now if I go back to my favorites with tabs and I do my multi command again then now we've got the lead on the corner with a tab and up at the top here if you click on this edit button here and you click on the part shows you the cuts in the part and if I click on number five in this list here shows me what I've got as my current overcut in this case again negative for tab and then what the tab width is and you can if you need to adjust it in here also so, and then one other thing in the 2D area, uh, if you want to add an additional tab on the part, because in iGEMS you can have as many tabs as you want, if you go to this Modify submenu, click on Micro Joints. Similar idea where you can set up different uh, micro joints or tabs, and again you can click on this Edit button here and do similar things as far as setting what you want for the, the gap and lead in, lead outs and angles and such. So similar interface to the uh, the contours window we were just looking at, and let's see, that's maybe a little bit too small. We'll make it fifty thou, okay, or whatever we want, and then okay. So then, if you want to put tabs on here, you got the insert button, and you can again, you can have as many tabs on the part as you want. And if I hit enter, it comes back here. If I want to get rid of a tab, you got the move, remove option. And then you can just drag a box around the ones that you want to get rid of. So that's the 2D area. I'm just going to make a copy of this. And I will delete my tool pass off of there. And I will take this into the 3D area to show you tabs in there. So let me just quickly get some curves here, and we'll just do a, a, a toolpath on the outside. 
Uh, so I'm going to use my plus button to add a toolpath on here. Upper curve, start point, I'll put it over here. End point, we'll go all the way around. Lower curve, I'll choose that. So enter for my lead in, and there's my lead out. So in the 3D area, you have this overcut box down here. Now right now my use overcut is not checked. If I check this box, if I put a positive number in here, it's going to cut past where I let in. So if I put say 60 thou, then you see that blue line which represents the lead out is moved past where we let in because we let in this way. We went counterclockwise around and then we cut past and lead out. If I, again, if I put a negative number in here, then it's going to stop short and give us a, a tab there. So that's how you can do it in the 3D and then if you want to do an additional tab on the part or micro joints over here you've got this micro joints button so you click on that and again you've got your width of your tab that you want to make uh, length of lead in, length of lead out and such and then again click on add and you can put as many of the, these on here as you want and then when you hit enter it'll bring it back here and similar idea if you want to get rid of any of these click on delete and as you move near it it'll highlight it red and you just left click and you can get rid of tabs except that those are for those micro joints the one that's here at the beginning is only controlled by in this box here by this number by that field there so if you want to make that bigger or smaller you just click back into this box and adjust accordingly. And one final thing that I'll say about the micro joints both for in the 2D area and the 3D area. If you may have noticed when we're in this micro joints there's the speed up option and the jet on off on option which I was working with the jet off on which it'll when it gets to the where the micro joint is going to start it'll turn the jet off and then re-pierces. The other option is this speed up one and if you do this, then it will basically, for this amount of distance in the program, it'll go to the uh, the maximum rapid speed of the machine, which is defined under your machine settings. So if I click on the machine button here and I go to speeds, so for a very short distance, it'll go 750 inches per minute, which obviously is so fast that it's not going to cut through for a very short distance. Uh, so it saves on having a stop and re-pierce should do some tests to determine obviously the optimum distances for that uh, so just so you can see the difference in the code with the speed up option I'll do uh, I'll do one down here I guess we'll do one down here so that yellow line indicates that that is a speed up micro joint and let's take a look at the code for that So here's the start of the cuts, come along, and this line of code right here you see is 750 inches a minute. So for that distance from here to here, it'll go that 750 inches a minute and then slow back down to the 32, which should leave you with a tab there. And again, you just want to adjust the tab width based on the material and thickness and speed that you're cutting at to give you an optimum distance there. That's how you can do tabs in 2D and 3D. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.